For over 400 years, the armies of Kairos the Overlord have swept across the known world. All who stood against them fell before their might. Even the Archons, women and men of immense power, were forced to kneel, chained to the Overlord's will. Now Kairos' final conquest has come to our corner world, and two of the Overlord's armies compete for the honor of taking our lands. The elite disfavored, and the teeming horde of the Scarlet Chorus. The voices of Narad, spymaster and archon of secrets, guides the fierce and undisciplined masses of the Scarlet Chorus. With each battle, the Scarlet Chorus grows stronger as the defeated are given a simple choice. Serve or die. Grave and Ash, Archon of War and the Overlord's most loyal general, leads the disfavored. Though small in number, Kairos's ironclad legion has never met true defeat in open battle. Watching over the two generals is Tunan, the Adjudicator, Archon of Justice, eldest of Kairos's minions. Tunan brings Kairos's laws to newly conquered lands, aided by the fate binders, judges and executioners of the Overlord's laws. You were among the youngest of the court of fate binders when Kairos's armies came to our lands. How could we have known that the fate of thousands would rest in your hands? something every day. I'll just hold on to this. That wasn't so hard. On the lookout. My wounds are slowing me down. I need... Found something. Trouble is afoot. Mike muted? God damn it! Why does it always remain that way, chat? We want that cutscene to do. Okay, so anyway, so, uh. Okay, uh, we asked. You. You wouldn't leave the, uh, the, the lives of thousands in the hands of Woden, right? 
Like, personally, you wouldn't. Also, we do like this as a tattoo. Wouldn't may actually have that. That's pretty good. Like that. It's symbolic. You, but like, you wouldn't, right? I wouldn't trust one of my dentures. Cool, so let's see what happens if you did. <laughs> this game lets you put in your own custom portraits, and we spent 10 minutes on what is gonna be the greatest fucking joke of the whole thing. Ironically, though, chat, with Squishing It Down, how we did. These came out still really well detailed, huh? Like, come on, say what you will, but... Hey! Hey! Alright, then. <laughs> yeah, Alright, let's see. Uh, so how did Woden join Karos' army? Not wanting to, pay, uh, wanting to pay to feed and house to the men in the pretty sure. No, she wouldn't be a pit fighter. She'd do well in the pits, but she wouldn't. Hunter, not particularly. Guild apprentice, no. Noble scon <laughs> was eaten. Oh, hey, what, hey, uh, Tris, want to see why this took us so long to do? Real fast? We're Woden. Kingmaker making parties from members of old parties DM or been a part of. Well, then, yeah, then Kane, if you ever want to play this game, doing it is literally the exact same way. Ex Pillars of Eternity, it works basically the same way if you want to do this for that and any of your funny party members. So, yeah, if you, if you do end up wanting to get this, GOG, uh, it's tyranny. It's if, if. We will say it is a paradox game, but there's only one DLC, and it. Do However, this character customization beyond this point, and beyond this point, once we get to like pa like to this point of the character thing, we can have whole cities be nuked and wiped from fucking existence. That if we don't, are actually towns that have their own quests and relevance. Once we get to here, Woden's gonna be trusted with about a thousand people's lives and the lives of the people therefore after. Oopsie daisies. And these options matter to when we get to here. <laughs> so, uh, soldier. Okay. <laughs> oh no. Oh, Kane's gonna disagree, but there's. She'd be a wall bringer. Come on. Huh. How did. Stop. Oh, fuck. So you were a blah, 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 blah. Overlord Karas, guy who'd take over everything. Called for Tunon. Okay, hold on. So Tunon. Here's where we're supposed to learn how to. So we're stand. We stood before this guy. Called by Tunon. Tunon the Archon is. Uh oh, so Archon's. With justice and order. The man loves justice. And by God, Woden does love a, a man of conviction. Uh, so, uh. So let's say we're. we're Accused of a crime you must certainly did commit, you stood before Tuan, the educator, our con of justice, and argued your case of eloquence and conviction. Impressed by your logic, reason, and confidence, he found your guilt away. His room at Tuan selected many of his agents from his prisoners, who buried to catch the wicked and those versed in such ways. In his mercy, Tuan offered you the choice of two sins, decades of languish in prison, or a lifetime serving him in a court of fight binders. The choice is an easy one. And instead of seeing inside of a cell, you were trained in letters and numbers, magic and war, all as you once broke are now yours to interpret and enforce. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy, can we get up to some shenanigans? 
Hell yes, please. Yeah, we want that one. Yeah, Wooden's gonna be a cop. Wooden might even be anti-skill at this point, which is even better. Uh, how loud is the music, by the way? Is it, like, fine? Has it been alright? So one of two on sweet binders, you receive training in the arts of war, the intrigue of magic, the inexhaustible depths of Karras' law, blah 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 blah. Uh, similar tight, uh, okay. Louder. Is that a meme or like. We meant for the game, not us. It's pretty loud. Okay. Okay. How about now? Is that a, is that a bit is that a little bit better? When it, when it you know kicks up again. Uh, wielding. Uh, okay. You know what we have to do. <laughs> no. The champ. Fury of Blows, Palm Strike. The one two earning damage. Okay, we're gonna die. We should double attack on your target, it'll be fine. As for our secondary, uh, hmm. Come on! Is an axe on the list? Probably, but don't worry about that. Or we go all in. Chat, we think we go in with this and just become ridiculous. Like, we pull out the swords when we have to fuck somebody up. Or do we f Or do we pull out the you can- you can- hold on. Great sword. No! Uh, no, then you come out with some really, like, garbage skills. Fuck that. Yeah, let's just, yeah, I don't know, it seems way funnier. Let's do that. Next. Because with this, look how much we get. That's ridiculous. Character colors. We all, oh, how close can we get to what we want?
That'll do. She still sounds about as low as it was before. Oh, well, damn. Okay. What about now? Curves like symbols? No. What about now? Is it... Are we good? Or does it really do, or does it really need to go lower? A bit already on my ears. Okay. Yeah, no, it was doing the same dust, so we kind of turned it hold on. We'll even turn it down just a tiny bit more. Just in case this game gets a bit bonkers, and then we're gonna also turn our cell we're gonna crank ourselves a bit down. Okay, uh Woden, so we want so we gotta remake ourselves, huh? Yeah, they need to like die. Good bit of finesse. Little bit of accuracy. Bit of, it's just a little bit. Put some in subterfuge. Athletics, absolutely. Do wield. Unarmed combat, yeah, just all of that. And some dodge, absolutely. We have no idea what it's saying over here, but we have no idea what it's saying, but we're going to assume we're good. We're gold. All right, chat. Who's ready to do some war crimes? Woo! It's time to do some unhinged shit we'll never be able to unforget. Let's get in there. All the world has fallen to Kairos. And now the Overlord's eye is on the tears. Our home. You push. The last corner of the world Probably. free of Kairos's reign. Two armies. The disfavored and the scarlet chorus. March south from the Northern Empire. The last realm to fall to Kairos a century prior. In the early days of 428. Kairos' armies arrive at the Gates of Judgment, the mountainous border that we Tearsmen so long believed unassailable. Unable to agree on a unified plan of defense, the various leaders of the Tears sit and wait for each other to deal with the conquerors. Until it's too late. Are you only defeating 100 points? Doing one damage funny. That's also something we thought would be really funny. During the contest, you will decide your character's actions during Kairos' invasion of Tears, shaping the world through the adventures over the course of the game. The choice you make will affect your character and how major factions and Tears respond to you. Your decisions matter. Choose wisely. They're not fucking about chat. Whole regions can be rendered destroyed because of us. The bastard study. City stood on the northern border between Kairos Empire and the Tithers. Built upon a natural border as the commerce, the uh, Tithers, Tithers, what we assume, was, this, oh, was the center of wealth. To a northerner, it was a little more than a backwater trading post. Its symbolic gesture as a gateway to the continent made it a natural target, first target in Kairos' military conquest. Circumstances were ideal for you to prove your worth as a soldier in Kairos' army. Taking the city will send a message to the rest of the tears 
Kairos' will is insurmountable. Okay. Gates of Judgment. Okay, hold on. Okay, so we can check these. History would remember the Gates of Judgment as the first battle of the conquest, but the real combat un unfolded with the advance of uh, the advanced units of both armies preparing for the coming war. The Savior and Scarlet Chorus each had a plan to infiltrate the capital city. Which army did you join? Or... The armies of Kairos took the Battle of the Gates of Judgment, triumphing the opening call of the Conquest of the Tears. The two armies, the Disfavored and the Scarlet Chorus, brought their distinctive senses of order and chaos to the assault. You went to battle alongside the army whose approach best suited your strengths. Let's do some infiltration. Let's get some- hold on. Only matter if you care. No, 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 genuinely, uh, like... We've seen a review of this game. Genuinely, whole regions and, like, whole cities just don't exist anymore. You can... Re this changes so much. Let's see. The disfavored don't seem like they're too doing too great. So let's go with the let's go with the disfavored. You let us go to the elite disfavored. Scouts has captured board and garrison. Grave Ashen says that an early victory in the offensive would boost the morale of his troops and diminish the hot overconfidence of the southerners. Sure. Both found scouts identified a modest board defense and collaborated on the organized attack that would leave the enemy uncoordinated and cut off from aid. You were sold the preparations and offered your opinions on the strategy. The clashing of the swords and spears fell to silence, followed by the cheering disfavored scouts. You were you were the least surprised. Alright. Okay, so anything that's happening on this side of the war, like anything happening at the fight, God knows what the hell is happening right now. No longer our fucking issue. We're over here. <laughs> Genuinely, like there's a whole storyline happening now. We just don't get to worry about that. Don't don't fucking worry. They'll be fine. Uh the inside agent within the border garrison ca uh with the border garrison captured by your disfavored allies you headed you traveled ahead of Kairos's army and lurked in the shadows of the bass city you decided that converting one of the locals to Kairos's side would help bring the city to its knees after all corruption starts from within or your fiercest opponents in the bastard city were the mages of the uh school of wild wrath too barbaric to use their powers responsibly Practitioners need to be stopped. How do you trick the hot tempered mages into their own undoing? Uh, I don't. I don't we don't want to go fuck up the mages. We uh, no, no. The mages will be fine. Don't worry about the mages. Okay, so unless the bitter cabin of the guard is still Okay, you came to the region with the well connected smoke. Oh god, we could sneak more agents in just to bully them? Yeah, let's do that. That sounds funnier. You saw me uncover a long friend tunnel that it, the Bastille, armed with the shark, fanned out, occupied various districts undercover. They sent the ensuing weeks murdering key officials and sabotaging defenses wherever possible, weakening the tier's capital and the ver very numbers of its leaders. Perfect! Mwah! Betrayal of the best city. Your tactics. Uh, place you in the ar place you in the bar city ahead of the main armies. 
<laughs> so everyone else right now is out there fucking killing themselves. Warden just went, hey guys, what if we just went around the defense? <laughs> just go fucking over him. Fucking. Fuck. Uh. But you want a decisive gesture that will give your allies a meaningful advantage. How do you assist in the fall of the bastard city? Bastard. Wish to spare soldiers' lives for battles ahead. We're gonna go in there. Holy, holy shit, yeah. Hell, no, we want that. We're gonna go in there and challenge this man one by one. The city marshal was old but experienced fighter. His value to the guard was an accepted truth. For making guarantees for your protection, you met him in the square of the market district and fought in the view of the ten sound lurkers. But I drew on longer than you thought possible. Good fortune struck when an orchestral chain hung from the martial armor, snagged on the cloth of his sword, granting you the opportunity to end his life swiftly. Kaus's forces force celebrated your return to camp and the disluted enemy's morale. All agreed that the best city was poised to crumble. Fox only. No items. Shut the fuck up, gay. No. <laughs> you do. You know what, Kane? You can go do this game. That's Chief. Go on then. Final destination. Honestly, that, we want to know what what like what happens if you do that. If you just decide to be a final destination character, you just go in. As fucking snake eliminating members of Fox out. <laughs> like a fucking ghoul. Holy shit, that sounds like such a fun storyline. And it don't matter. The best really settled in a new state of normalcy with every tower displaying uh, your innate. Wait. Oh, we're not even at the city yet. We're not even there. Uh, uh, your name was this for the armies? Or that you were the, uh, either the judge or overseer of the settlement of... Okay, uh, so where do we want to settle? That's a map. That is, in fact, a map. Okay, so we may have lost the plot. Either we just took the main city we're going to be dealing with, or that's one city we took, and we're taking that city on the way to taking over the rest of the world. Which we think is what's happening. We're This is our conquest to how we took over the world. So the Bastard City, how we dealt with it, that's how it is now. So we think we saved a lot of lives there, technically. Can you... Can you map out of these nuts? Can you map... These nuts in your mouth? Alright. Your name was whispered once I ruined a decorated career to come. The armies divided into two fronts and against South Turn sent word that you were the Agent Overseer. S mm, I'm sure Jove can. Callie would like to test that. Uh so do we Apex of the Mountain Realm of So, do we think Woden goes in? Does Woden go all in to take this place down? Or do we hang out and, and check out what's going on here? We think we get... We think Woden gets ready. We're trying to mitigate our war crimes. Believe it or not. But don't you worry. War crimes are to come. No, let's ha let's try to mitigate our war crimes. Let's try to save those for special occasions. We're gonna oversee for now. No need to attack. Year two of Kairos' conquest. All right. Oh Jesus! Oh, we're trying to get over there. Oh boy, it's gonna be a long war chat. We don't even think it ends there. Uh, anyway. Years ago, Leviathan behold the small merchant towns 
A pact between the sellers and the merchant company meant that the caravans would travel without fear of bands of bane and the town thrived in modest insignificance. The crossing drew Karos attention from the iron, iron deposits on the surrounding hills. With the region under Karos' control, the northern smith mages could set up the workshops and refine the worm into armed smavery with the finest weapons in the known world. XCOM reference, is it? Wait, are they? Oh, that's cool. Which one? Archon managed to, uh, say Karos' forces over the region. gonna be a long war oh shit <laughs> yeah <laughs> we didn't even mean that but we'll take it there it must flow no one faulted their dedication yet production was low you suit uh need to fighters not forges uh what about over here Used her arcane charm to lure locals. Oh no! Oh no 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 no! Mm. Woden doesn't like any part of this, but somebody else is just gonna go. Well, it's time. Nah, she's fine. Who cares? Uh, the refugee. Let's have refugees move carts. That's easy work. Fine. Uh, uh, yeah, they'll be fine. Had swelled from the emptying lands destroyed by Karis Army. Although the uh, Scarlet Chorus fought to keep refugees under their control, the need for production was could not wait. The new recruits were signed to haul iron ore from Tetris mine shafts. They were more fitting slaves than car artisans. The uh, disfavor grew stronger with the advantage of more weapons. The Scarlet Chorus dismissed as their ranks found themselves one less opportunity for growth. Oh, fucking God. Kairos' armies. Oh, good God. Hey, Kane, do you think you were smart? Not let it. Hey. Vestra can talk shit about doing Woden's paperwork, but do you. Do you trust her to fill that out? Do, do you trust Woden to help with a simple guard dispute? Uh, use the fight as a reprieve from the war. The Sea grew more crowded as a mercenary army hired by the Archon of Seagulls. Occupied the barracks once they were. Want well, nothing to do with the cell swords. Fight them in the fold. We kept far from coast army. The righteous occupiers would not deign to share provisions and spies, but uh, so in order to keep the cell swords out. Of the no, you let the scar course and the mercenaries engage in combat games and challenges and allowed laws to revere the merriment to go and yeah, fuck it, let them party, fuck them. Hell yeah, party up, dog. The game's provide an excellent opportunity to relieve tension, sell disputes, and guarantee future cooperation between the two forces. A grief is resolved by tri ritual combat, messier than your abjuration, but arguably more entertaining for those outside of the arena. Various areas were provided themselves worthy opponents, found rewards in joining the ranks of the Scarlet Chorus. Many of them carved out positions among the elite fighters. Hell yeah! Bro, that means in game, genuinely, some dudes that are at the top might remember that we allowed that and be like, it's. It's our boy. Woden might get away with it one eighth again. Trust you struck with a mercenary hired by the uh, injured of Fordborn Artisan, the moment practice craft. Turn off of the mercenaries to leave the city in the hands of Karos more responsible servants. Only Terek uh Eric's will be left behind while the Arbans return to the front, as the favor and Scarlet Chorus showed Turn created best that only one force control the crossing. We're gonna leave it to the Scarlet Chorus. They're gonna be fine with it for now. Fo 
recruits. Oh, uh, no. Ah, oh, fuck. We're going to be pe we're going to be trying to make up for that for the rest of the war, aren't we? Well, lesson learned. On the bright side, they kind of like us there. Uh, with the mercenaries expelled and the lights across the new leadership, Captain Forrester congratulating themselves on bringing order to the settlements and guaranteed a production flow of resources. Over the course of the division, your army's fronts were further advanced interiors. Your skills were needed to the realm of Azure, Stuart, and Vilms. Uh. Well, now we have to pay for this, so Woden has to go kill herself real quick. Yeah, Woden has to go kill herself real quick. We gotta go... We have to go die for the cause. We're going to need so many war crimes. The realm of Stuart was best known for its proud army, disciplined, courageous, and undefeated in their home soil. Skill and resolve made Stuart a military proud that Kara's forces approached with due caution. With its southern position, Star was largely safe from the war. Watching for two years, its neighbors fell to Kara's forces. On the dawn of the third year of the war, Kara's forces were poised to invade the Stuart Peninsula and subdue the Terra's most vaunted army. Okay. Defeat at the hands of, uh, resist. Merchants gave a ruling. Oh, Jesus Christ. Defeating their crops as they retreated, leaving the various little to forge, starving. Whatever, who cares? They'll be fine. Okay, you fucking idiots. Defeat the hands of the Well, you guys do frenzy, and you know, last time we let you be in charge of something, you inspired rape, pillaging, and murder. So, shut the fuck up. We're not pleased by the use from censor, but against the disfavor, we're not sharing the blame. But that the disfavor, we're not sharing the blame. The soldiers hurried. We we're wondering where justice could be found, if not Thon's fate binder. They argue that the reputation have not no bearing on the law. Well, you can suck my cock, friend. The capture of the enemy should be interrogated with the Archons of Secrets. So your corpse in battle. No. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. Okay, what's happening over here? Yeah, interrogate. Vanished, uh, never to be seen again. Her screams were the only others she ever passed to the camp. Those went beyond what was considered possible. Voice of the side. There was no region we found. Only a map, which, uh, nice. Oh, we've made, the, we've done a war crime, haven't we? Doesn't matter. Disfavored carved a slow, steady path into the heart of the store and surrounded the enemy's massive fortress with the bulk of their forces defeated the enemy leadership retreated their mighty fortress content with way out the war the overlord uh, assured that this impotence with an edict of storms edict was powerful magic that is uh commands control to a man nature like once cast oh a devious will that would ensure uh endure for as long as cowardly hearts for the stories of the leaders versus battle please by your efforts thumb deemed that you Proper rep uh, representative to deliver 
Karis's edict, aside from giving the 3-day window to ensure to read the edict, you receive no other instructions. What is an e Okay, so an edict is basically the nuclear option, chat. And it's an edict of storms. No, we're going to give them time. See if she can create themselves with the people start. Yeah, let's... Kaos' wrath was intended for the cowardly region of the store. Not those unfortunate swept up to the calamity of their leadership. Warning, in the advance of their spell would be given locals time to prepare for the de devastation to come. Or con you're getting to let punishment fall on the innocents as lightly as Kairos will allow. Come that you yet spare lives. You broke the seal of Kairos' edict of storms. And read the overlord's incantation. The clear skies darkens. You read the final words of the edict. A flurry of wind and rain whipped through the rolling plains and craggy canyons, turning rocks, uprooted trees, and ha hapless soldiers into hazardous shrapnel. Armed with a measure of foresight, you were able to remove yourself from an area before the storms continued to grow more violent. Over time, nearby communities told of cyclones consisting of thousands of soldiers worth of limbs, spears, and armor, and skulls. What's more, the weather showed no signs of dissipating. Sup, just war crimes. Now hold on, there is one thing we want to do over. We're going to do most of that again the same All way. The world. Yeah, we got it. Huh. There is one thing we do want to do though. <laughs> there is one thing we we would change with our foresight. All right, easiest spot. Okay, we're going to do most of the things here the exact same. Oh shit. Since you ate the prediction, uh. Yeah, no, you're all getting the same amount of weapons. Anyone who usually has left nothing to interpretation, you let both the commanders know that bribery would not be tolerated in Kaos military. They didn't stop ear them seeking you out again, making promise of wealth and showed special favor. Then enough was enough. You ordered both the commanders flogged in view of their army. They paid humiliation. Teach them where reason had failed. Listen here, motherfucker. Stroke when a mercenary hired by the, uh... We're gonna leave it in the hands of the disfavored. Place Moss and Garrison is selling it. Though the force was larger than needed to police small... Uh, protect the forge by... Those, uh, reveal their parts of Scar. Core systems. They got the least of the two burdens. You see what? Yeah, no, that's fine. Okay, that's the only thing we wanted to change was that we wanted to put those guys in charge. We were not paying attention to what was happening. God knows we were trying to, but we really weren't. But as you can see, one decision changed, uh,. It gave us two more options. Spooky, spooky. What could they all mean? Okay, let's just deal with this shit.
Yeah, if you fucked up, you fucked up. Uh, or the uh, and those pins were there for several hours. Oh boy. Fuck it, kill him. You fucked up. In a move that towed the edge of Kara's, uh, Dragon Dragon rescued the historical, uh, the orders. Crucial intelligence, the very conquest and so forth, so that he wasn't lying. You questioned if the pr was worth the fringe benefits of it. Recruited their might. Oh no. Oh no, those boys are about to get. And that's when we fucking storm them. And war crime. Yeah, we'll take that. The year is 431. And Kairos's invasion has shattered all major opposition in the tiers. The Younger Realms, the Bastard Tier, the Free Cities. All who defied Kairos lay broken by battle, or bowed in surrender. The two armies of the Overlord, the Disfavored and the Scarlet Chorus, now control our lands. But our will is not yet extinguished. Not entirely. In the Valley of Vendrian's Well, those of us unwilling to bow to Kairos have banded together in defiance. Violating an oath of surrender from two years prior, we have staged a bloody uprising, murdering the disfavored and Scarlet Chorus garrison in a midnight assault. With their main forces spread across the tiers, the disfavored and Scarlet Chorus redeploy to Vendrian's Well to crush the resistance, but months pass with no definitive battle. As disagreement and discord paralyze the Archons, we bide our time and wait for our message of insurrection to spread across the tiers. The Overlord is not amused, and Kairos has one message for the Archons. Crush the Oathbreakers or die. Kairos backs this threat with an edict a magical commandment that can slay all in the valley should the order be ignored. The honor of proclaiming this edict fell to you. Sent across the mountains to Vendrian's Well, you carry the Overlord's edict to read before the Archons. Oh boy! We literally have a nuclear bomb. As you finally make your way through the winding mountain passes into the valley, the ground trembles and Kairos' magic seals the way behind you. You are trapped in Vendrian's Well, with Kairos' armies and the Oathbreakers. The only way to survive is to fulfill the terms of the Overlord's Edict, in any way that you can. Well, to end here, we got end there it goes. Kairos, the Overlord, be praised. When I heard the Overlands, I fear the valley has been had been sealed with you on the other side. So every warrior claps her gauntlet to her breastplate. A traditional salute for the her legion. The current won't say why the governor of the Lethans Crossing would be coming, but since but since there's no forges here, I can imagine you're gonna knock some sense into the voices of Naret. She gets herself, clearing her throat with a smile. I mean, no take with the Archons, so we may agree on a plan to wipe out these Oathbreakers. But on a personal note, it's good to see another Harbinger. But Kairos will... 
By Kairos' real, most of our old invasion force still lives. Most of us still been scattered across the tiers. Resigns his needs change. Most of those days. And there was so much battle ahead of us, so much glory still to be won. But only the Archons are expecting you. Don't let me be whack and nostalgic for these old days. Okay, yeah, I'm in the air. Go around the rocks? That avalanche is Kairos' magic. The evil has sealed the valley. Your senses see more than mine, good fate bringer. I never pretend to know much about such things, but if that is Kairos' magic and you're, and you're here on important business, well, you don't want to have the Archon secrets try to be guessing why you're here to proclaim that you're here to proclaim an edict. What does Kairos have in store for our enemy? Ten years of festering plague? And years of twisted bones? I have come bearing an edict of Kairos. Our soldiers will complete their task. Or die. Gameplay? GAMEPLAY! Well, technically, that was gameplay, chat. We played a mini uh, text-based adventure to determine this game. We played kind of a mini strategy game where we were always going to win. The edict is leveled against us. Cries away in the fears of Prussian slackens. But the sl Scar, of course, prevents us from taking action. Why did the Overlord punish both of... Clears throat with sigh. Forgive me. It's not my place to question. We should have conquered the enemy within a week of arriving at the valley. The delays reflect poorly on us all. Their first instinct is to blame the Scarlet Course. I don't want to curse his to an edict to enforce orders. Yes, well, I should decide. There was indeed. There has indeed been little goodwill between our armies. And you're right. We act as we do. Oh, we act as we do. What choice do we give the Overlord? She takes deep breaths, nodding as she exclaims. And you're right. I should not cast blame so freely, especially when not talking to a ser especially when talking to a servant of justice. My apologies. We've well, traveled a long way. I won't keep you further. I'm sure, the Archon will want to hear this from all of you. For his, her first voice falls silent. Her attention snapping east eastward with alarm. Do you hear that? More runners, third time this week. The Oathbreakers keep trying to send messengers through the mountains to gather from the outside valley. The points out of the collapsed path from which you arrived. They are too little, too late for that now. Come, let's show these Oathbreakers a good fight. Time to punch a motherfucker. Uh huh. Let's get in there, champ. Possible real world, uh, blah, 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 blah. Got it. So, palm strike him. So, hold on, hold on. You do that. Can we not do that? How do we do that? You know, Chad, maybe those tutorials are trying to teach us something. Hold on. We're not going to touch spell creation. And don't you even think to look at it. And there she is. <laughs> and there she is, the champion. There's something nice about just seeing that, that goon-ass smile. <laughs> And knowing she doesn't have a fucking clue what she's doing. Okay, combat. Combat, there it is. Okay, so if we click this... Ah, there we go. Prank him, John. Now prank him further. <laughs> what does this do? Uh, nice.
His shit's ours now. We're taking that. <laughs> There's so much happening. We really should be reading, like, what's going on, but that won't be happening. Something about talent points. Honestly, we just like reading about the stuff in here. Uh, town points. But where are those town points? But where are those town points? Oh, there they are. Possibly. There is so much going on, and we are scared by it. Well, let's not worry about that. We should be vigilant and deal with the remaining Oathbreakers in the past. This seems like a suicide mission. What does Venom go and hope to accomplish? Who's that? Uh, Army of the Landlocked Ram- uh, Got it, he's the big bad. What we've learned from the other prisoners is the runners are instructed to escape the Valley and Drove. Support for the Oathbreakers calls Ellsbury and the Terrace. I don't know what they think- Who they think will listen to their pleas. We smashed every army fortress and self great ruler those lowborn tearsmen have to offer. Do you think the wild beasts will rally their side? Victory has soaked the tiths with fear. Did anyone rally to their hopeless cause? Not exactly. They lost a war years ago. There's no more the grasp of a dying people. Shout out to your days. How much longer until I reach the Archons? You almost to your destination. Once we reach the pass of the enemy, just head south down the footholds from there. Should be a matter of hours in the encampment. Carry on. Glory of Kairos! They'll Sorry, be fine. I can't. Let's just move. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> well, let's get into the pranking chat. Sorry, I can't. <laughs> This dude is holding the line and we respect it. Sorry, I can't. We need to get better punching skills, chat, but how? Or do we just pull out, you know, the good shit as soon as we figure out how to do that? Do we have... Oh, we do. We have a phalanx. We have something spicy in our inventory. We steal their shit. No. Well, good luck. That's our mushroom. Don't even know why we need it, but it's ours now. Try and catch me, worm. A young Scarlet Fury weaves around the Vendral Guard attackers, avoiding their weapons with fluid grace. She nods to you. She nods to acknowledge you. So breathless enemy soldier passes a glance to her countryman. This one's crazy. Too much lead in her water. We should kinda lost the turn back around. Here, here at last. Here to join me in putting these cowards out of their misery. Shouts to the armed soldiers bearing down on her. 
Do you ring the bell? Save something. Oh, hell yeah. For the... For the realm of Apex, charge! The Vengeful Guard level their weapons in advance. Let's get in there, chat. Not exactly what we meant, but it'll work. Well, this guy's just gonna get pranked. <laughs> the one two knocked him off his feet and then viciously beat the shit out of him. I can tell you didn't spend the conquest in a diplomat's tent. This fighter surveys the fresh corpse and nods out faster. By the way. But there are more important things to take care of than introductions. Those Vendrian guard we killed didn't come alone. She nods with skirmish and folding the pass below, shaking her head. Why are the Vendrian guard attacking now? Yes. The Vendrian guard are testing our strength in battle. Learning how we perform before they organize a real offensive. That or they're really, really desperate to get beyond the mountains and couldn't wait until nightfall. It's like a storm. What's your role in the, the army? Scarlet Fury, one of the elite killers of our ignoble gang. You'll see more than a few of us around camp, but don't let that fool you. We're a rare breed. So Dommy Mommies, got it. Kane, it's the Dami Mami faction. Any thoughts on that? Most of the soldiers in the Scarlet Chorus are little more than farmers and children armed with rusted forks. Makes them easier to control. The voices of Narat called his best fighters to this siege. There must be something important about Vendrian's well, This game is getting <laughs> interesting. <laughs> <laughs> the Dami Mommy clan. Well, now we're starting to get some. <laughs> Kane leans back in his, uh. <laughs> Kane leans back in his evil mastermind chair. Finally, it's all going according to Kakuin. I knew the war crimes are the right call. <laughs> I hear by Dummy Mommy. <laughs> Dummy Mommy, where? Apparently, this faction. What are you doing? Of Narod told me to intercept you at Edgering Ruins before you busied yourself solving all of the camp's problems. <sighs> Guess I was too late. You're due for a meeting with the Archons, but we should handle the small matter of this ambush first. Well, Chet, it's time to kill. Can you join it? Join what? Oh, no! Oh, uh, no, uh, no, Astro, we can't join it because, uh, we ran it. The conquest was us leading these two dipshit factions. We're essentially their boss. Mm. So, time for the corporate to get to work. So you lead dummy mommy? Indeed. Not only do we lead dummy mommies, but we leave like the 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 mommies that just want to cuddle you, like the like like the stern, like the you know the, the disciplined ones, the gentle doms. So we have both forms of doms. It's gonna be great. Let's get in there and kill people. <laughs> I like that. Before we go, you might search among the remains of our fallen comrades. Wherever they're bound, I doubt they'll miss their boots, much less any rings or any useful iron they might be clutching. Rings? Money! Phenomenal! Ah, uh, so your point? Not even practical. They don't need their money. Before long, we might wish we'd joined them here. But at least we'll enjoy heavy pockets and warm toes. Hey, Woden is not above looting the dead. After all, might have evidence. For the voices of Narat. You do that. First, we gotta loot corpses. Those are ours. On it. 
What? Looting corpses. That's a war crime. Kane, we unleashed a fucking death hurricane from the abyss on a on a basically a Middle Eastern town that had maybe a couple terrorists in it. <laughs> and you think war? And you think looting the dead is something that we care about right now? That's forward. No looking back. The Jagar roars with his phalanx held high, his words lo uh, largely lost over the din of combat. The side of your funeral will be over the side of a bluff. Seeing you squarely in his path, the soldier points his weapon in your way. I applaud you bravely, but I implore you to end this foolishness and lay down your arms. Not a chance. If I surrender, I'm as good as dead. As you can drag some of your cows chosen along your short joints to the void. Scarlet! Chorus reinforcements, hurry! Run down the earth, Bakers. Let none escape. From the red mob of reinforcements to the south, a blood chanter emerges from the head of the rabble. The oriental crest on her stir, perching on the crimson tones, signal signaling essentials of magic and wordless move moving her mouth. The blood chanter describes a series of magic spells in the air. Red glow surrounds the vigil guard warriors as the chanter's magic worms away into their minds, blinding them with rage. Hold the position, all of you! K you there! Keep to the path! The warrior gestures along the cannon trail, but the soldiers turn their attention to the Scarlet Chorus. Roaring challenges! Do not engage them! We need to run! His orders falling on death ears. The warriors reluctantly ready his weapon. Trouble Kill them all, boys! Meanwhile, Woden, give them thy business. And then give that one secondary business. No. Woden. Woden, you little fucking hobgoblin. Woden's on the line. Oh, that's- Oh, that's- We have a wombo combo move. Gotcha. Finish him off. You shank this guy. Oh, someone stitch me up. Don't worry, we got it. We'll be fine. Oh, wait, did we do that to multiple people? We got him up. Okay, so they lost health permanently until they next level up. Come quick. We have a situation on the cliff side. They have the they have the commander. Oh boy. It's fine, chat, whatever. Well, it really is a shit show, huh? We have overwhelming forces and these goons. On it. And these goons can't figure it out. They have to rely on Woden to save the universe. A wise decision. Store your weapons for how long men can stream more in the ravine down below. Between your between a precarious job and a band of angry soldiers, the Oathbreaker warrior holds a disfavored officer at knife point. 
screw him. Worry not for me. Grave Ash will protect. His favorite officer wins his blood seed from the skin of the braces and chorus. You heard the man. He plainly invites you to use the little blade of yours. What are you waiting for? Permission from your pimp? Spillade. The jerk of the knife, he slices the clump of mash of of the dashless matted hair. If you're so eager to see how I did, just step closer. Bones going for the knife. <gasps> the oath breaker cracks a wide smile as you lower your weapon. That's right. Now the rest of you drop those weapons. Lose attention on the other warriors. You dash forward. You. He reached out with the dagger to slay the dress, but your hand is already on his wrist. With the wrenching twist, you may, uh, mangle his hand, dropping the dagger harmlessly on the ground. This favored warrior rushes, the disfavored warriors rush forward from the other side of you to manage the strained gasp of being hacked and impaled upon their swords and spears. Target down. We got him. Target down. <laughs> so, Kane, uh, d Kane, uh, our, our, our judgment pr is judgment proud of Woden. The bad man is dead now. He was he was viciously shanked. Dead? Well, these are cops, Kane. Okay. This is Woden's army. They viciously shanked the bad man. Kid, he was gonna kill some. He was a bad man. He's just a bit proud. I mean, Woden didn't kill him. The, these guys, these gentlemen killed him. Woden uh, disarmed the suspect. And then SWAT came in and killed the guy. Uh, you know. So, Ken, you know how you said, uh, currently in, so, uh, right now, Kane, in Rail Decks, we are at where it actually says Certain Magical Index 2. Like, we're fully in Season 2 now. We're past Episode 22. And what we found funny is... So this terrorist event happens, and we're labeled as terrorists, right? And they start shooting us with rubber bullets. I should watch Real Dex. You should. Kane, and then Kane violently starts drooling, at the f foaming at the mouth. <laughs> Haven't watched it, huh? <laughs> but anyway, uh, in it, we find it funny that you said our we got called terrorists and all this shit. And the next uh camp, like the next couple things, are during. Like, finishing up the whole clone arc, right? We're, like, a week before even the beach episode. Right? Yes. Perhaps. No. Fuck off? Who who can say what Kane is saying? Also, Kane, why, why do you... You passed Beach episode? Bro, we, we passed when he fought Ellis. Like, that was the last thing we did. We just saw, uh... Kazuki... Kaz, Kazakiri? Glasses chick. Yeah. Okay. So we're a week before the beach episode, right? Where like everyone, uh, bodies, uh, angel. Uh huh. Yeah. We're we're a week, but we're that's a week ahead of us in the campaign, right? So if we're getting the timeline right, in two weeks another terrorist event happens. <laughs> 100% orange juice stream win. We already did one, but one day we'll do it again. So, uh, terrorists. So, uh, so, we got called terrorists. T 
about a week or two from now, when Ellis and all that bullshit happens, another terrorist comes up. What we find funny is, unlike last time, this time Anti-Skill came in with fucking live ammunition. My Grinch deck is ready. Kane, if you want, we can try to get Tress and do a 100% orange, uh, orange juice stream tomorrow as like an intermission between Bioshock and Battletech. We're down. But, uh, but, uh, genuinely, we like, we love that you somehow accidentally made the series funnier, for, like, better for us, because we're just thinking about how anti skill in your campaign. We're shooting, we're shooting at the party with rubber bullets, and then they're, they were like these goonish cops, like, what? I don't know, that's something a tear, like, they're clearly understand that we're kids and, like, not taking us seriously, but they're also like, on the other hand, we know these guys can kill us, so we have to go. <laughs> and then we just think about later, it's like, man, in two weeks, these guys came with at least five rounds of magazines. They came with a Call of Duty fucking character's amount of ammunition to deal with one terrorist when they brought, like, two mags to deal with five two weeks prior. That military spending at work. And you can't say it's not with the same gravitas, because a judgment officer, basically the volunteer cops, were sent to deal with the terrorists. Are you out of- holy shit, that's wild. <laughs> it reminds us of the, of the one XCOM joke. <laughs> man, man, man you, remember when, uh, the- and when you could remember, uh, call the end of the world a prank? Man, this prank fucking sucks. My brother in Christ, you are witnessing our extinction. <laughs> that's what, that truly is what, we have never gotten to October in the series, but is that about what we should look forward to, Kane? Where, like, people are just viewing the end of the world as a prank call. <laughs> and every time Toma comes in, they're like, My you're witnessing our extinction, I have to punch a thing now. That man stopped about seven world crises. It's been a week. Woden can't even stop a goddamn subway dispute. But it's fine, she's in charge of an entire army now. Kill us be praised, he'll break her fault with the rage of co- Who? Oh, so if we'd done that, this guy wouldn't exist because he was brutal as fuck. Thank you, Fabringer. I thought today was my last. From the look of it, guess the, uh, I guess they thought if they swarm the pass, one may, uh, one might make it out. If you scrap some parchment on their bodies, without a handful of curled parchment for your inspection. Oh wow, paper's rare. Oh boy, a student of this as yourself should be able to make sense of this. All the training the grave and ash teach you to read? I understand it was you. Oh, that's a fair question! All that training and you can't learn to read, jackass? Fuck you. Repeating the same messages in different rooms groups, the parchment explained that the Vanguard decided to go Karos Archon, route their armies from the tears. Page are not addressed to any specific reader, but rather openly invites all who remain below the wrong realms to gather vengeance well. Crew material. They're trying to be more traitors to the fight. From the looks of it, they kept slipping out of the valley. Whatever they hoped to accomplish, I think their plan died here. The Archons are expecting you. Should, when you're ready, leave to the gate for the southeast and follow the trails down slope for a few hours. She can't fire as, uh, leagues away. Can't miss it. Chat, we just want you to appreciate the fact of what we've done here, and how clean it came out. Look at 
is perfect. Well, chat, let's get down there. Oh. We wish more games allowed this. It was something we were kind of hoping we could do in Battletech. I got it. What's happening here? Prisoner says his name is Tar Argus Dermos. Russ le lets out a long sigh, tapping his gauntlet finger on his temple. I don't think this is a complicated matter. He dies. So has been driving voice of the Vendron Guard. Killing him should demoralize whatever is left of the Tarkus clan. Almost to give given a chance to find the absolution of the so service of the Scarlet Course. Rage points fingers at his favorite soldier. And you know full well this has been our way. Is there to be a slave or a soldier? Only then do we feed him to the pigs. We let you take prisoners, but we... But you can't control them. You've seen these constrips out on patrol and they never return, defecting all over again. I can't let this nonsense continue. <sighs> well, I insist the Oathbreaker be taking the voices of Nagret. The Well, I insist this Oathbreaker be taken to the voice of Nagret. You must an impasse. Fortunately, we have a fate bringer here to settle the matter for us. Tenters you, an expected smile creeping across her face. So, what do you say? What should become of the prisoner? So Woden has to have an arc, right? He surrendered once? The Tearsmen can't be trusted. Rakes, thieves, and whores, nothing more. Not what we fucking meant! But whatever, sure. We were fought to immerse for the first time. Just what runs to a nearby lawyer. Have this one tied up. He and his friends can watch each other rot in the sun. Won't keep you any longer, Fairbringer. I do have important business in the valley. Do I salute you. The iron gauntlet raping against the rape fleet for the glory of the Karas. Hey, fun. We're honored to have you in Turin's corn visit our humble hud fest. Need supplies? Bridging with energy, the merchant slams her pl palm down on the top of the crate. If, if so, you've come to the right place. I was straight. Well, this is a service western. No profit up here in the past. That's Archon's bronze orders. When we march out of the Valdi, I'm back on my own schedule. There's no topping up. This year's a good one. The Lord favors the extortion of the pathways. Good thing, too, because in years past, I'd lose most of my prophecies at tolls. Could never copper if I tried holding long distance. I trust you, Grand Prophet Stewardship, for the good you're peddling. I. I, uh, well, you see, if it fate brain, merchant creature into the stack of crates. I think so. I've been handling these bits of scraps. You reach across stacks of provisions to snatch a scroll case. But I'm, not, I'm not a woman of letters. Rumors are my strength, and you can, as you can imagine. Let me see those. So, you're only good fate, right? You to scroll while wearing a quizzical expression. Let me try to trade. No. That's for a two. Where did you get these? Those bronze uh, acquired those on my behalf from the Toronto's agent, I believe. Do you see an issue? No. Yeah, it's probably suspect in some way, but. Are we really gonna nitpick? Uh, we need supplies. Yeah, that's all. Well, naturally, she winks. 
Just because we fight dirty doesn't mean we trade dirty. Well, most of the time at least. I have to, we have to know. No, we accept our choice, chat. But we have to know. What happens if we say there's a slight problem? Where are we site? See the problem. Wait a minute. No, we're not. No, hold on. No, wait a minute. No, 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 no. What did we just read? When not supporting an active battle. Wait a f fucking minute. We have a slight problem here. But a problem, how can that be? I paid a Spanish problem for the stewardship. What sort of problem is there? You have no trade as part of an act of war efforts. Currently, it would seem our Aries are unable or unwilling to fight. See the problem. Oh, I see the problem. Our eyes narrow and hands slip of string copper along your waist. Let's go distance, shall we? A donation to the court. Call. Just give me the friends ray. So be it. Okay, yeah, that's fine. So, they're not currently a part of the conflict, but they are... Who gives a shit? Perfect. Let's get out of here. On it. So does that mean hold on? So how do we switch between? Ah, there we go. 
So we got the swords for when we need to fuck somebody up. Fists for when we actually are got are like we need that you know. Swords are a crutch for now. Got it. We're now at the camp's under control. Let's get going, the chat. Let's get going, chat. Where are we going? There it is. Yeah, let's climb the rope. We'll be fine. Ain't that odd. And what odd? Whoa, whoa, whoa. We'll be taking that. All right, so southwest, they said. Where the hell do we get out of here? Well, we figured it out. On it. Neat. Skulls and Can't what have that. you. Let's just go down with the rope. No need to kill ourselves. Not yet, anyway. Examine tome. Take a better look. Oh, yeah. Neat. So where are we going, by the way? Southeast. So what is the Grinch deck? <laughs> no, okay, now nah, now nah, now we have to know what's the Grinch deck. Sorry, I can't. What is southeast to these people? Sorry, I can't. Holy shit, wait a minute. The once pure water of Queen Larkas' tears has run red with blood since Karos' forces invaded. Holy shit. Get us out of here. Where Santa's for green? Bro, you also use Mario and Tomato. That was one of our. Those are our two of our favorite characters to use in a certain mode we play as. We don't have the Christmas outfits, but that's supposed to be two of our more two of our more, more goonish characters. One of which is another version of Jezebel. So much like you, you we come back to to Raildex. Sorry, I can't. 
So do you come back? How do we leave? We swear, one of our, our companion. Need to talk? I suppose I can give you a moment of my time. It sounds like a deeper voice version of IF. What do you need? Are you a spy for the voices of Rat? I mean, does it matter? You say for yourself whether or not I'm trusting. Excuse me along with the wrist, and I'll split the occasional word uh, about what you ate for breakfast. Tell me about yourself. Yeah, if you insist. I'm a Scarlet Fury. That should raise some flags for you. It means I that have I'm a good reverse at killing, deck. and more <gasps> importantly, that I enjoy it. What I won't enjoy are the pleasures of funerary rites packed with weeping mourners. Someday I'll fall in battle, and then they'll roll me into a mass grave or heap me atop a shit-stained wagon. One more anonymous, knife-riddled piece of meat. Okay, then tell you this, tell you what, Kane. Five hours from now, would you want to do a stream as an intermission? Because Monday we don't have anything to do that day, that whole day. Do a little bit of 100% orange juice, or at least do any stream of 100% orange juice that day. Oh boy, oh boy. Because Tress would be up for it. No, 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 not five hours from now. Five hours before now. Before. It's like, yo, for your time zone, what time that is. Five hours from now. Or before now. Five hours before now. We're going back in time. We're trying to figure out time zones. But yeah, I guess for us, it's like 5 p.m. So from 5 p.m., like at like 12 p.m. for us, which is five hours from now, about, since it's 4.42. Yeah, I guess. Then we'll get Tress involved. Then we'll have a three-way with one AI battle in 100% orange juice for a, uh, for a little bit. It's 12.42. So it's ten forty two PM. We all rambling about I'm just wondering Jewish. So, 11. We might even be able to do it earlier. Alright, then we'll try not to drink too much. Actually, fucking no, we're gonna go drink a whole bunch. We're gonna save the whizzles for tomorrow, don't you worry. Alright, moving on then. Oh, tomorrow's gonna be a good day, chat. Battletech, Cyberpunk. Ho! Oh. Some of what we may call the greats. Until then, I plan to take whatever I can from life and have a little fun along the way. Life? What life? As far as I'm concerned, I didn't exist before the chorus. With some girl on a fire wearing my face and talking with my voice, but she wasn't me. 
So I was just sneaking out at night, taking a scythe and having some fun with the livestock. I shared an interest began and then it ended there. When Scarlet Kale swept through my village on a long trip from the Bastard City, that was when I finally woke up. I buried my own life, took revenge on anyone who'd wronged me, found freedom I could dream I could only dream was out there. What of your parents? Mother ran a successful farm, and I worked on it for a number of years before I found the chorus. She hard to be a woman. Act like the world owed her or something. She never talked about my father. I figured out a thing or two about him later on. He was originally from the Northern Empire who took a liking to her, and she him. He stayed around long enough to get to get what he wanted. Never mind him. My mother never had what you would call taste, so he couldn't have been terribly influential on me if he did stick around. You wish that you could do things over and end up somewhere other than Karos' army? As a naive question as I've heard, Karos is everywhere. If you're in the Overlord's army, you're being trampled by it. Of course, I could have labored on a family's farm for my maturing years, married some adult, and littered him a nursing of squealing piglets, and I've already torn to pieces by smaller versions of me. Sounds like fun. Then one day I decided enough was enough. I slipped my husband's throat over breakfast and ran off to join the chorus anyway. My way saved a lot of time. But sm smooths back the feathers of her hair and shakes her head with a smile. I think you could have given that life a chance. You have gained fear? What? They fear us! You don't mean, know me at all, fate bringer. How'd you get conscripted? How'd I... I think you have to get ready about me. Course didn't take me as a slobbering maid. I strode to their camp and enlisted. Something tossed, someone tossed me a dent blade. I lived through initiation, spent a week butchering my neighbors, and moved on with my new kin. I didn't waste time with goodbyes. My mother had, had long since died, and the rest of my family were losers. Like I used to be. Even she was, she was worth more than all of this combined. What is the significance of your feathers? Damn! I don't tell a story to just anyone. You have to butter me up before I can get ready to imitate details. Damn. I have questions about your past. Tell me about the Scarlet Chorus. The Scarlet Chorus is mostly for madmen and peasants with rusty daggers. But it's also a little niche of freedom that I never had. Once I survived training and met my Scarlet Fury sisters, I saw a different side of the howling mob. <laughs> Who are the sc uh, tell me about For training. new recruits shoved to the front lines, training means surviving the first battle. Anything beyond that is for the fighters who show potential, whether as blade dancers or arcane madmen. There's nothing in the world like getting put through the paces as a Scarlet Fury. Every day is a test of your commitment and passion. Failure means death. The first few weeks were the hardest, but also the most rewarding. I earned my name, picked up some quality weapons, and met my sisters. The elite fighters of the Scarlet Chorus. Your typical horde recruit fights with a rusty Damn. spoon and a chip on his Earth, shoulder. Right but next to decide what memes to bring. Are, well, different. I'll have to go. Hey, you'll have time. Honestly, can we just do some goon shit? But our, we'll tell you right now if we decide to like thrash you, we will put a hand on your shoulder. If we decide to thrash you, know what it'll be when we bring out Siguri. And we'll forever be pissed that we have to buy Siguri 2 in order to get her better aversion. Because we love playing as this character. Just, just know though, if we want to destroy you, now that we understand how the game works. <clears throat> your blood will be ours. We focus Unless we, on although to be fair, we also roll we like you, Kane. We will roll like the lowest for Imagine attack, a despite having a plus three. We'll roll like a four, and, and, and we'll be like, as, okay. and we'll be like, yep. Mm -hmm. You mean bully? Mean you bully me? 
We will want to, Kane, because you'll make us mad because you'll be beating us. And then we'll fuck it up because we'll have we have your luck in that game, it's horrid. Oh, fuck you then. I'm not here to dazzle you with my use of metaphor. When it comes to the Scarlet Chorus, you either get it or you don't. We get it, but Woden doesn't want you to be psycho killers. The far from the tires we're in a verse, it's just you. The chorus takes your name away. Whoever you were, person name more, and name great deeds. The voice of Nether gave me his name. With Later, Bo, he told me that my music stands out loud and well as it contains too many parts to be easily defined. Alright, Charlie. What's your real name? Volunteering it out of pity. You already know my. By my real name, it's verse. Look, are you looking for whatever arbitrary connection of theirs and some of my mother's thought was pro? She didn't even know me. You're out of luck. I buried that name long ago, long by my standards, anyway. Tell me about your weapon skills. I was just a kid, I didn't take long to realize I was a nice one. I could pick up a rusty kitchen knife and screw a rat from across the room. Maybe we should give her praise for that, because that's impressive. It's fucked up that she would skewer rats, but it's like... It's an impressive skill. What do you need to know? Who are your sisters? Who are they? Who were they? Would be more appropriate. Through whispers, where guys are seeking sheath, best fires, blah, blah, blah. We're going to be here a while, aren't we? What about through whispers? One troop fell for a blade. Crest. Okay, red geyser. One more siege breaker. Oh, uh, we didn't pay attention. If we load this, where do we go? Because we have to know what the fuck we just said. We've already done that. Phenomenal. Let's talk to this chick. After we go through the place, apparently. What's happening here? You there? With your mouth full of congealed blood? And this I beg you. Yes, sir. You plunge your blood into his heart, and his life with one quick thrust. Is this not the southeast? Now we could have sworn. 
Wait a minute. You fucking pranksters. Slow down a moment. I were both eager to, to watch the Archons pick over tactics like a pair of magnets, but I need to ask you something first. First, say. Matt told me you've come as a meditator. Considering your source, you have to be the only one hearing half the story. So let's have it out. What's so special about you? I'm going to deliver an Edict of Kairos. Makes a crazy kind of sense. Considering how long the sieges attacks the armies, you can understand why Kairos would send you to enact. And you send you with an E to speed things along. Have you read it? You know what it says? There comes must like must claim a Citron Hall by Karos, Day of Swords. Or all will perish. Fidger here's the final Well thanks for clearing me in. Thanks. If Karos sent you linear on just tell me uh when to duck. Did they, did they send you a spy on me? This regards you for momentary unease. Well, are you surprised? He's the Archon of Secrets. Knowing in advance is his business, so he's snatching up any advantage over Grave and Ash, who's to compete like a couple of new recruits for a spot around the fire. It's nothing nefarious. The voice is curious why you're here. If he wants to know more, he wouldn't be able to suss it out that easily. I'm gonna have sent one of his scarier peons in my stead. What else has he told you? Only what I've told you in the eager ruins. Truthfully, freaked you out. I could have picked you off from a crowd. The only one of us who hasn't spent the last few months bathing the stink of the Malkin River. I'm so suspicious. I feel like I got. Why are the Archons at odds? So I. Building. Uh, so I. I can say I've been building for a few years. Energy about this too. Like a pair of storms moving to collide. With the grieving ash and the natural voices that share some blood in the Northern Empire, but I don't know any of the particulars. They are unfit co to command. Finger, are we? I'm not disagreeing with you, but I would take care of who you speak your mind. Someone is always eager to push slander in the favor of the Archon. Gotta be with the Archons. Okay. Jesus Christ, they're a web of fucking high school bullshit. We need something to relax to. Woden needs to put on her theme song. It's the only way she'll ever feel sane again. Also, Kane, have you played the other modes of 100% orange juice? Because uh, we will be doing a lot. There might be one or two enemies left for us to beat. We'll 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 tell you who we need to. We have done almost everything in co-op. Us and Tress. While we were drunk and high, and Tress is a goon. So we can help you with any of those bosses, really. We there is one left. And we beat the one that is every boss fight combined. But uh what we're going to ask Kane is, we're going to put you through your paces, we're going to give you a hell of a training course, and then tell us which bo co-op boss you want to fight. Uh, Don't you go to sleep, look at this out, look at the work we did for Woden's picture. Nolder, my heart is getting colder all the time. 
I was a teenage outlaw with no worries on my mind. But now I'm getting colder. Barely is getting colder all the time. Hey, hell fate binder. If we're gonna do this, we might as well get some songs. Beside you. Reload. Chat. We found it. We did it. We've done it. I'm sleeping around. I'm tired of around co about co-op. No, Kane. We do co-op on the hardest difficulty. We have beaten every boss on the hardest difficulty. 2v2 with AI. When we talk about co-op, we mean like we've done the hardest. We're gonna put you through your paces, fucko. If you tell us you want a uh, Woden build, fucking PayPal us 20 bucks. I'll figure it. We'll figure it out. Hell, fate, but oh, for Steam cards, there's a GameStop $20 gift card. That's the only soul in America. Give us that, bro. We we make a Woden build. Hell, Fake Binder, this favorite scout nods at your approach. Camp on ahead. Don't mind us. Just clearing out the rubble. I'm so saying what, what I've done to offend. I expect those that are now disfavored lands. I'm happy to give Legion proper toll, but she's going on about trading rights. What else is that? I'm allowed to trade one thing for another. I think I'm so welcoming to angry peasants or anything. The overlord regulates all trade. You lack the permits. You don't get it. We want this guy to ask more, but growing up in this land, they regulate trade. If you lack the proper permits, your goods are forfeit. If you think that's bullshit, figure out how to get around those. 
But how was I to do what I speak for such a thing? Thus, and now our problem. We march about to Bastion and plead your case to before turn on. Light and burn. Leave you where it's first. I should make the trek a bit more bearable. There is start making a strong, a very strong argument as to why I should help you. So discuss. You should kill this small girl and put your paws this place now on your mouth. On her mouth. On her mouth. Do you know who we are? Odin has our version of morality, which is hyper violence. And she is desperately containing to not beat the shit out of you right now. Traveling margins are important. Governments can't regulate certain things, so a certain goods should be allowed in under very interesting and fun means. Big Bender wishes you wishes to wait on this in all this matter. Courtesy demands we listen, soldier. Please don't meet you unexpectedly. This is about matter. Man of the ages of the court do so well to throw their judgments around. Well, you could rob me of my spice day, which grabs a flash from his heart. Or you could leave me and have fer ferment honey along your j all year round. And I even know those a few fairly or a few fair pinkos and healing droughts. Certainly any army will need those. This is monster as well. I was hearing about supply caravans of regions going missing. <laughs> well, I don't see how that relates to me. I mean, I've only just arrived here. Could have been involved. In I couldn't have done anything like that. Mr. Shipman around here. If you win, start talking. Well, I, I suppose some of it's limited. Power tosses his hands in the air. Look, I was trying to scrape your in for yourself. But he was wrapped up in war. First man to credit of his sources of wear. I must found out in this first of valleys. I keep my head low when sounds of combat. Now take a look. Rivers cleaned by the first victors. So then you stole from Disavowered's dead? How else did you get your hands on the iron? Scout points to Rich Cart. You come here and sell us your own art. Would you come here and sell us your own armaments? If anything has an order, I will return it. His iron would have turned rust if left in the mud on the battlefield. The disfavored are few and numbered. Is that not right? Like me, a guy who survived. Kane, can we phone a friend? What? A miss? One wants to call in Vestra. One doesn't care. Like, this guy's gathering ore from the corpse of the dead to sell to the army of a vicious overlord. And Woden knows that, but Vestra doesn't. From ground level up, he's trying to get ore. 
This is what you dealt the ore. Like, yeah, we want to solve this whole issue, but. This is how how are you supposed to pay them handsomely for such charity? That's ultra debt. Did we let him go? Well, maybe he starts instigating murders and. He's gaining ear from dead corpses. Let him go, and if we see him do it, he's dead. But I don't give a shit. They tolerate it. Like, pay them handsomely, but you're in debt. Leave this and then never come back. It makes the Scarlet Corps happy, but he's gone forever. Or just kill him right now. Oh, not anymore. Warden wants to do the right thing. Okay, but what if? And this is the level of thinking we have to think about. Oh, we have to go back. The corpses? It's not. S but they're taking, like, they're not looting their corpses, like, scouring. Like, it's like a, a warrior dies with a sword in his hand. They take the sawyer's iron. Like, his, his sword. Or, like, a, they take a guy's gun. And then they loot it. It's like, whatever, right? But then there's also the cases of if it's like a family sword. It's like, hey, if a bunch of soldiers in a big, big old conflict die, and you see the same cast iron sword, shouldn't you loot it for metal? Who cares? We almost don't want to give Kane the opportunity to make Woden feel bad with Vestra. But if Vestra says this one. We say this one. And we know that means that in the future they can say, ah, they this Archon said if you do this again, we'll kill you. But it's like. Of the Sharpie quote. We don't either. But, uh, you know. Aww. This is what she thinks for Vestra. Yeah. I feel like again I'll have you killed. But he has no permits. You're allowing the slowborn to rush you to prof off and yet should be told like any other conquered Tursman. It is your right to sell disputes. You lock horns with the curse. You have no authority on this matter. Are you questioning me, boy? I am. No right to step in when we disagree with the course. This fool is not a sworn the Archon. He's got one sort of headlong temple. Letting out alone his frustration before throwing rubs in the air. You know what? How you were a fate bender. This is where the court summons from Tara. Deepest thanks. I thought I was, tr I was trying to be fooled and left for dead. And here, I thought the disfavor would allow. I think we were trying to bring them fresh provisions. I should keep my head down and not make any waves.
Anyway, back to Woden doing whatever she does. Currently, Sharpay was mad that the soldiers were leaving instead of fighting. We're, okay, we're so lost because we thought you were talking about Sharpay as in, like, the chick from goddamn High School Musical. Go no further, your part is disfavored. Brown, so it's your business. I'm Woden. Uh, I'm Warden Fate Bender of Terran. I bring word from Chaos. Words for your commander's ears. Understood. On the behalf of this favorite, I will commune in our camp. The Archons are gathering in the war tent. Head straight through the gate. So you're charging for wishing to wait. It's just an even longer delay. Actually, we're gonna go to the bathroom chat. Take them with their side.
Don't we have a war to fight? Jet may or may not have had a brilliant idea. A brilliant idea came up with because they're smart. This server was mad that so it was real good instead of fighting. Alright then. The Archon pounds his staff to the ground to punctuate his words. A large and imposing man to begin with. His profile made bulkier, made larger still by his hulking suit of armor that comes with mystical energies. Or it's the work of your perfidious earth shakers. Only a fool would not suspect a traitorous Archon of poisoning the mind of his students with sedition. We would kill the earth shakers guild for their master's treachery, but... I'm sure you have some perfectly valid reason for allowing them to live as your cause. God damn, what is happening? The Archon Secrets passes the step to the as he speaks. Turning the rod in hypnotic circles and world luminescence seeps from the eaves of the Archon's ragged red robes. Those most notable where his neck ought to be. The best is the float and spin. Never pivoting or bit never pivoting and bending or naturally. Hey, watch yourself. When these two get going, you don't want to get between them. Chat, do we get between them and remind them of whose bitches they are? Or do we kind of let this play out a second, get some of the idea of what's going on here? Or do we gently remind them who's in the room? Odin has to be a good patsy for now. We're gonna say there's a right. Governor Woden. God damn right. Please, Kane, let us do a campaign where we have to be Woden as a director. It sounds like the worst thing either of us could do. Now we are under by your. Well, have we been hampered by your iron? Now we are. Are we being honored by your. 
I know now we are honored by your presence, which applies for my Lord Semper Fator on high. Apologies for son entrance. Long to get here. Ah, the storm caller. Conveniently late once more. Our eyes and ears tell us you come bearing an edict. The anticipation is killing us. So may oh. we thought so maybe looting wasn't so bad was maybe Woden wasn't so bad after all. Really shame. My soldiers tell me you have commanded Drossus on your way to Edry. You honor the court with your selfless cooperation, for that is the sort of camaraderie that Kairos demands of us all. On his last words, Archon of War glances at the voice of Nat Drug. From his brows, he utters the words camaraderie. Look, are you all done? Because I have some shit to say. My dear Binder, we won't be done bickering until the last of Ash's hair falls out. We'll pause for you to read your little missive. Go on, go on, don't keep us all in suspense. Oh, oh, you want to hear what it is? Oh, baby. Only yesterday you were proving your worth in battle, assisting my warriors in the siege of the bastard city. Now Kairos has chosen you for a second time to proclaim an edict. Tell us what they like. What sort of punishment does the Overlord have in store for the Oathbreaker? So now can we call can we call investor to health? How much do we threaten these people? Does threatening work? Oh you're if you're in common disarray, that just sounds mean. Seems you need some courage to work together. Do we trust them to get the message that either they work together or everyone dies? Some encouragement to work together. Keros Edict will end the lives of everyone in this valley unless the Central Hall is claimed by Keros Day of Swords. No stories eat words you utter. The force of Narak can kiss my can suck my cock, friend. The earth sways with each word you utter. The air thicken, thickening with the warmth as you pronounce the tersely phrased command. It's every syllable drafted by the hand of Keros. With ears proclaimed, you, your pulse quickens and your muscles and your legs worn from a long trip down the mountains feels re renewed. Tired limbs now buoyant with vigor. Restaurant sure can't help because I'm too busy making memes. There is no room for error, and no other way out of this valley alive. Would v would Vestra give Woden a hug? <laughs> would would Vestra be a supportive girlfriend? Damn, I would could really use that right now.
This man wants to fucking suicide charge, and you know what? Word. So, you found your backbone at last! <laughs> oh, we were worried past humiliations would make you soft, timid. That was a record for you. Chorus reinforcements? We'd have eyes and ears on that. They call the Arkham Secrets, but you don't seem to know anything remotely useful. Hey, Woden's all for, like, making mistakes, but if someone wants to act like Alex and act like they know what the hell's going on at all times, you better back that the fuck up. What's going on? The Arkham Secrets turns his head to the side until the face of his mask is turned around. A new face of his mask presents itself facing forward. The next the Arkham speaks, the truly voice of the inner man can be heard. Our river was to be the bulwark, but with the tide cast to slay, what hope remains. It's so cold in here. Help me, please. Dark Arrow threw his head to the far side until the previous face of Bastion now looks forward. Our sources tell us the Oathbreakers had some sort of magical trick in store. But this knowledge is tinged with fear, trepidation. If we make a move for the Matani, we suspect the Oathbreakers will mount a counterattack that is equal parts valiant and futile. That, uh, that voice, who was it? That was Matani Yanev, former noble of Apex and one of the leaders of the Vendrian Guard. Back when they were half respectable enemies that knew how to lose with dignity. When the guard first surrendered, Yanev presented himself to us. What he knew, we now know. What's up now? I trust you are done acting like the fucking clown boy you are. Do we act like these guys? We kind of view these guys as the dick, uh, as the directors, and these guys as judgment command. Buffoons, yes, but lovable and trying to do the right thing, and these guys are just goblins, sending people to the meat grinder. So if there was an option to call the directors fucking clowns. Considering the storyline where fucking Accelerator tossed a building at somebody because another director wanted to do that, but it turns out he was being outplayed by the chairman because throwing a being getting a building thrown at him. Earlier today. Or like earlier yesterday, or no, I think earlier today we had like this whole thought process of like, holy shit! Through the whole arc where a man threw a building at somebody, nobody knew what the fuck was gonna happen. The chairman, the direct, that one scientist director guy, both of them were fucking trying to pl outplay each other, and just kept stringing the whatever happened in their favor. Because what Xr did made no goddamn sense. He just wanted to kick a belt. One dude wanted to defeat the chairman, and the chairman barely knew what the hell was happening anymore, but just knew he was already going to win. <laughs> we have the epitome of confidence versus some goon that has to do everything in his favor, and then there's this accelerator. 
who genuinely just wanted to kick a building because he wanted to. And we don't know how better to explain it other than that, but in ju Remember the episode being Exeter kicked a building because he wanted to. And it happened to hit the windowless building. Which didn't do anything because someone is 15,000 steps ahead of him. Anyway, any any opportunity to call the directors a clown. Do not think for a moment that you can give us orders, Maggot. Not unless you wish to discover new ways of feeling. What did you just say? What did you just say to Woden? Pussy? People are talking shit, chat, and we're gonna have to rip them in half. My lord, Marco's men have drilled to the Echelon's assault, pl assault plant. The course of river should be briefing him as we speak regardless of Lay's enemy movements on the river. I would smash him as once. Echelon sure salutes, clapping in her hands. Her gauntlets to her breastplate. Now we're sure the chorus stands ready to march in his favor. If it is fair, we can take the river. The chorus says, Mayor Pettis, secure the outer ring of the valley. Our soldiers clamor for battle, and at last we shall have it. Thus, we command you to continue guarding the Fate Binder. Tunan's chosen is our honored guest, and must be shown our finest hospitality. Is there a fate, boy? If Wolden smells even the slightest bit of corruption on you, You're our battle buddy, please just, like, be with us on that. And perhaps, if you continue to show proper fairness to the chorus, we will look past your cruel decision to label our conscripts and spies in Star Wars as enemies. Every fate finder has their bad calls, even our beloved Stormcaller. Hey Kay, remember when you said it didn't matter? Remember how we did that entire quest line during the conquest? To labor his guy to label his guys as terrorists. Maybe he'd be more on our side right now if we didn't. Which might matter way down the line. Dark on towards the scepter one last time. Suit yourself, Faith Binder. The more you ignore us. And taps the fifth eye on the shoulder of the two depart. Terrorists on your side? Exactly, they're the terrorists! Tight, they're the terrorists. But they're also what we would assume as the directors, AK trying to outplay us at every turn and turning violent mobs into going, yeah, that violent mob right there, that's not our experiment. Maybe Athena can be trusted, but China can't?
Oh, the score, score of course. Will they be helping? That'd be hard to help. We have train grounds. Bring the soldiers. Find me there when you're ready. Now I'm loath to mention it. The chorus can likely lose your assistance. They yeah, certainly won't secure the outer valley on their own. Fifth Eye will be somewhere in the rat's nest if they call. Uh, guess they call it to east. Team out if you must. Hey, Kane, what would you say is the most royalty free, free uh, ri fuck it, whatever. We know what we're going to play. It's nice that at any point we can call upon our version of Masterpiece by just putting in Masterpiece Rail Decks and that'll be the second option forever. And we have a story behind this song. So back in the day for anime songs, you could not find certain openings during like the early 2000s, or like the late 2000s, early 2010s, when YouTube came out, you could not find certain anime songs. And the ones you could find were like, the, pay, like the pitch was a lot faster than it should have been. So this song, we knew how Masterpiece was supposed to sound, because we even liked the original song. But this is how Masterpiece should just like sounds to us, because we could never find it again. Oh yeah, let's get out there, chat. We gotta, we gotta save the goddamn universe. Us with this girl. Because I couldn't find the original version. Because God forbid in America you're allowed to hear anime music. We gotta get out there and save the entire universe. That's proved our point enough. God knows somehow it'll lead us to further ruin. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> and now time for Woden to relax. Day, maybe Woden will experience this kind of peace. Oh. Let's get to that camp, shall we? Wait. It's only that everyone in this valley will die instantly if you don't do this correctly, but fuck it, why should everyone listen to us? Do 
Nora places her hands on her belt as you approach, gripping the hold of her blade. Past this point is Kara's territory. You don't look like I, someone's construct. You're in the right place. I'm Woden, Fatebreaker of Taron. I'm here to vanquish the Oathbreakers. You know? I think I was told to fix someone, but you seem too ugly to be her. So, Kay, in your humble opinion, which would you pick out of these two? Step in, push her down? Or, I was expecting a Scarlet Chaos Warrior, not a child, asking for a beating. This is the music Woden should have. Forget what the music should have. Which one is bullying? We don't want to bully her, but we want to understand that she is asking the Doomslayer, why should I give a shit? And like, our ability to crush her head in about 15 different ways... Push de pushing down his bully. I was expecting a so if we call her a bitch. Okay, we're trying to get for your ca for your campaign. So if we call someone a bitch, we're in most of the time. But pushing them down and letting them know you cannot stand up to us. really don't want to fight this guy. But we also want them to understand up front. Just like, shut up. You know what? If one has to be a bully. Paying attention. Before she draw a blade to advance, place your foot between... Behind hers and give her a stiff shove on her shoulders. Call off balance, she tumbles backwards, triggering an outburst and laughter in the other guard. Come here, you're assassin the fate bender. You're just a stupid ponce. And I tell you, you'd have a special gust coming. Guard waves you with a smile. Going in, don't let nanny shooters in the camp give you any guff. Kane, listen to the music in the background. We're having a good time. Woden doesn't want to hurt these people. She wants them to shut the hell up and understand she's got this. Yeah, I mean, all these courses is actual live ammunition. It's pretty badass. We're not smart enough for that. Sorry, I can't. We wind up to an arrive. It's going to be a teenager's tambourine. The fifth eye's voice makes your gums twitch and your fingernails re feel in need of a trim. And we just finished having a bit of sore with some captives, but we're not. We'll have more fun with another batch momentarily. Dressed in bronze, red regale with the crimson spears, the fifth eye beckons you to stand close, wagging a blood splattered gov. Now that you have 
issued this edict numerous all to die. She help us climb out of this hole. Chirps of laughter emanate from under his mask. Why are we still so loud? God knows we don't want to be. Uh, about there ish. That's where we want to be. About there. Yes. Perfect. Alright. There are so many things from. Oh boy. Back. Welcome back. Make fun of Kane for being British. Uh. How does the camp respond to the edict? With mewling, bawling, and the occasional orgy for Ukraine Vermont. Shrill tilting lather escapes from under his mask. The bull lost is there. This was the field of failure. Should our glorious horde fail to overrun the capital, we'll surely all perish. Yeah, I don't see the disavowed, disfavored pulling their weight. Not here to follow your every order, but we all need to work together to stop this edict. But of course, your tone's concubine, not mine. I envy your long leash and hope you will grace us with your prowess. Only to set an example for the rabble. You know, the oath breakers are focused on the civil between the mountain spire. We have not learned this, le learned this their only nest. The fifth side wags a hand in the air for the high pitched squeal of displeasure. Given their pattern of attacks, those of a secondary group maintain camp here in the outer valley. Unless we deal with the secondary group, we'll attack from behind the moment we cross the river. Is there, is there anything you can't control your horde? And it may defect you back to the Vernon Guard. Wrong! And perhaps... You're assuming the spear towards the Ark towards the Swan Camp. It is no feat to herd this many desperate lives. For every, two, for every two hands of humanity, at least one thing that snaps from the stress of our ways. We have been lost to the margins. I won't deny that. But if you store grain, expect some rat feces. If you lead... Killers expect some desertion. You you need help taking out these oath breakers? And what a good fashion slur would be a efficient solution. Smart answer is not to kill them, but to add their strength to ours. Last group of scouts returned with a new batch of prisoners. One well, of these prisoners claimed to lead us to the Verdun's guard's second camp. Though there are shreds of deceit, deception in her voice. I could use your questioning this Verrick Kale. Whereas you could get less screams and tears and more useful information out of her. If we knew where to ambush the outbreakers, we could try and take their captain. Show them the wisdom of joining the chorus. The chorus. I'll speak with them. Meet you there. She's waiting for you by the other prisoner. Right.
Let's roll in chorus. The law of the uh, sure the most loyal, or so loyal, of his numerous warriors. Shun Spear. Are the Archons in our circle? Dozens of the strongest gang boss incidents. They are ordered to struggle down from their sorority. Archons mater mater material retainer, humble servant. His eyes and his ears, but also his mouth. For I speak with his authority when he is absent. And his killing edge when the rabbit is moved to when the rabbles move to war. And you take the vows of the course. We must have conjured cure. I do not need a cr uh, cudgel against the head to see the wisdom of the Archon Seekers. I joined the course in the not and days in my home in the Bash City to join the incoming course. And the rest is glory in history. Those days. These days you follow the course or die. Choose the path and, and kill to defend our place are the only guard. Even if it's been two or three years, the course is a short memory. Oh. Hell of that and all. Yes, I know Vindran's well at the base of the Mount Spire. He points to the north. He points to the northeast where the spire cuts the vertical line. Is this a small fortification? Ascension Hill is the name of this citadel's inner council chamber. The garrison where the valley has been taken. In 429, with the citadel being their base of operations, the Oathbreaker staged the revolt. The garrison of Ascension Hall was defeated. Makes sense that Kara's aid equipped demand that we burn this whole building back to its point of origin. But you know about the disavowed commander. Iron Marshal Inverness is a doting warrior, just like the Archon of War. She won the feud, just like disavow, cautious and kindly enough to trust with the Archon's iron toddlers. No doubt her primary qualifications include being related to a Ash. Agents a little big into its pedigree, if you catch my address. But I'm to speak highly of her. I can't deny she is a brilliant swordsman, and the other disavowed seem to take her seriously. Despite the serious sticks, she's propped up her backside. She's strongest in your camp. I am. Naturally. Well, the Archon is. Without question, the mightiest in the camp. Death Kennel is your master trainer here, and she is the most tough enough to take me. She's by her. Don't tell her I told you. You should be trusted to fight and lead. Where humanity is lacking, verse is correct. Playing with the Furies even longer than Death Crown. Too bad the skill and prince did nothing to save her sisters. Sounds like you're fighting, insulting my friend here. Do I take the hit of fighting words in your voice? That I must have spoken in error. I meant no offense. I wish only convey the adverse is a true survivor. Embodiment in the grid of the coarsest reveres. So kind of you to step into prick my armor that way, because I'm clearly incapable of speaking for myself. Is there a reliable quartermaster? Talk to Snigler Dagos. He's mine enough to not steal from you, and only cheat you a little bit. It's over there, points on the east. The is important honor of alarming tr uh, army, trying to harm all my merry constructs. So don't expect Karos army or, or anything. My my, such a fucking asshole you are. We'll chat to the east we go. Well, look what we have here. Chewing on some manner of crud. Heavy sets of her fling spits and crumbles as she talks. The fate bigger finally shows herself. I'm Reg. Second sol- The second soldier chimes in. This is Baz. Wondering when you would pay the m camp a visit, for there has been a little star for teacher. He ordered us to to watch you like a troublesome babe. Make sure you don't get out of line. Baz knits her fingers together, joints crackling as she smiles. She clears the nose, scowling at Biz. Something like that. If you have questions, ask us. Good luck finding someone else in camp who will give you the answers or even a smile. T 
Tell me about yourself, Baz. Let's all sort the beck and call fat merchants. Just another didn't face the crowd. After too many years of smelling blood in the local scrimmages, I was, I was only killing time. The crowd showed me a better way. You need purpose. Now I fight for something, not just someone. Been watching, scrolling through his practice and my blade work. Not good enough to join him yet, but I could show you a thing or two. Tell about yourself, Rig. He scratches the back of his head at loss for words. I had a family. A farm. And the chorus came. And well, now I have the chorus. Really strange when you hear screams in the night. You feel a blade pressed to your neck. Things like fam farms and families don't seem as important. He used to have nightmares thinking about the calling. Felt awful. We hired a hack my mom and dad bitch just so I could survive. Or as I shadow for a moment of sorrow, take on a feverish gleam. The thought heard me howling one night, pulled me out of the world and took an interest in me. Now I study magic, calling fire from nothing. My mind, yeah, can see me now. You'd be proud. Azure and I were conscripted at the gates of judgment. We start for Osi on me and Azure. Biz chuckles, scratching his head, thought. How many fights we survived so far? Eleven. Ray began to count in a series across the fingers. No. Fourteen. I uh, count each day and sunder separately. The chorus is... Baz looks around the camera shrugs. Not as bad as it smells. They're strong like me and Rager. We're allowed to do what we want. What we deserve. We live as our strength affords us. As it should be. We can help about the fifth eye. Gertrude's uncomfortable glance with Buzz and lowers his voice to whisper. They say he shares it directly with the voice of Nazareth. Girl drew tongue around him. He's a little. Well, wild, bloodthirsty, mad. Fast things for a moment. Brilliant. I was gonna say. Eccentric. The chorus isn't picky about who joins the ranks. So you can expect to find some unusual taps. Most are as likely to kill you as promote you. You all Vendrix well. The walls seem imposing. But as the Vendrix guard do a better job of hiding its weakness than fixing them? She shrugs. We took a sail down once before. We can take it again. We have to, don't we? Ray looks up an imposing tower at the of of the spire. Though Karis knows I don't want to stay any longer than necessary. You should know better than to parade your cowardice before the fate binder. It's not cowardice. It's just superstition. Are you afraid of the spire? Are you afraid of the spire? I'm. Sorry, Fatebringer. I shouldn't have mentioned anything. Besides, the fact of the matter is, we were told to stay away from the spire. And all those ever since we were babes. Well, the dumb childhood ashes that fell by the wayside. That one stayed the same. Imagine sort of the car is pissing himself over architecture. More like what's underneath it. Rig frowns. The main look around those old sites. They kill anything they can catch in wares. I no longer wish to meet the main in common unless there are hundreds of blood chatters at my back. She twists her lips in a frown as she considers this. Me neither, I suppose. Well, let's see what you can teach me. Let's dance, Binder.
You learn something every day. I am a god. We can't go to level three yet. What the fuck is the thrust ability? What is thrust? All right, fuck, we're going to look it up. What is this? Okay, so let's just start targeting ability. Got it. We'll take that then. Everything. Is seven to ten good? Does the horde icon kind of look like the Dreamcast logo to you? We were trying hard to ignore it, Kane, but yes. But yeah. Sorry, I can't. Uh-huh. Go check out over there, lads. Still no idea what it says. Loved an inter uh, interrogator, but where the hell that hell are they? Can't do that. Can't do that. We 
you are so lost. Where do we interrogate people? Where is this terrorist? They're really trying to use how magic works, but we do not get it at all. Where are they? Oh, for real, if Turna is the favorite soldier pounds ever gone against this chip stick uh, in a stiff but one green where I was fitting where I been in our superstitious man, I'd say fortune favored me today. I'm not. I'm pleased to have you all the same. What brings you my little slice of personal damnation otherwise known as this here mud and shit sinking chorus camp. Anything you'd like to report, soldier? What about the chorus? This isn't unusual. Got yourself a strange, malnourished beast, but no. My screw rules seem mostly in order. Ma'am and I haven't been spying. That's what you're implying, ma'am. Those he says you sharp it. Seriously appearing to breathe. Because you know I was, I'd be damned near impossible to learn anything about this shit. Shit star. Filth eye and those damn f furies. Don't, doesn't give me a loof enough to do it. For me to do my detail. Not for lack of trying on my part. What do you mean? I'm just trying to keep steady on the outbreak because who they give too much freedom. Who they give far too much freedom to have to compensate. What have I missed? Even we don't know. You had to, re to be a resource for the benefit of both armies. Provide insight regarding Proth strategy and request a stock of troops for the Iron Eonos reinforcements if needed. But if they don't listen to me nor confide in me, they'll fight beside to get the brethren I would request. Well, why are you stationed with the chorus? The way most of my days go, I think I was here to ru with the blood chanters and scarlet fears. Of course, this represents the disfavored interest of the fifth eye and the scarlet chorus for the martial ethos. Not that I've gotten to do much of either in the last few span. What do you think of them? The rabid dogs, a lot of them. I've seen a screamer racing and long into battle like a hound chasing winter hare. I have. Tell you more often than not, there's a screamer who ends up skinned and gutted in the campaign to the chaos that's the course, and we're doomed. Kind of like it's a punishment to be assigned here. It isn't. I know I have fucked up to get here. Got three days in the hole and a nice little promotion to go with my new post. Won't be making the same mistake twice when it comes to th to the Iron Marshal. Just chin toward the distant valley. 
I should be out there fighting for Ash's glory. I'm standing here running back to ro back a report. Shoot. Not standing here running to ready to run back a report should something ever finally fucking happen. What exactly do you th what exactly do you do to end up here? You made the great mistake of suggesting the Anmash wasn't fully utilizing the Scarlet Chorus. Well, here I am. The Oz is now to a camp of lies and cheats who soon had got me to ask for my aid. Guess she showed me. Oz is at risk. And even the new kink along with the chorus? Begging your pardon, ma'am, but I've never fought a battle where my life wasn't on the line. He shrugs. Kind of nature of war, isn't it? Fascinating yes. shit there, Cap. Well, what we didn't ask was for why you were such a pussy. Where is this prisoner we have heard so much about? Sorry, I can't. Can't do that. There they are. How have we missed them? Oh, that explains it. <laughs> no, now it. Now hold on. Now it's starting to come together. Starting to figure out how we missed this one. Please, someone, should bow before the voices of Nerat. Thought all could re could find redemption in the chorus. And make sure the army of Vindrum guard lurches forward in agony. So the trembling list just she's been forced to stand for days. This one. He feels the relief to the prisoners. But is hollering her that she knows the location of the Vindrum guard encampment. But she isn't being entirely honest. Told this. Thing. There's no pale, pale moment. Like an determination comes in her face. I you want know a guarantee I'd live and be welcome in a chorus as a captain. Then I'll talk. Or so just kill me once I've opened up. I was dumb enough to join with the Vendor Guard. Not dumb to give away, to give away my bargaining bronze. Tell me what you know I should see your release. The chorus is looking for the cabin parks for his crew. Shoot to them, but only if you release me. Her uh, head, taking a look at the screwed and swimming course around her. Restraints. You're lying. Why don't you tell me what you actually know? I'll see about saving you. I, well, I, you see, shaking by your demand, her w lips move wordlessly for several seconds. I don't know exactly where the rest of my cue is, but I saw, I mean, I could tell you, catching your breath, search that one. He reached up with the right leg and parts her foot, calling an engine nearby Paul Corpus. Dark guy from most of his face. He took his left boot. He was a deliberate one of our crew. He had the orders. My fingers the paracord, yank the boot off the falling part me. Roll parchment slides out of the boot and thrusts in the fifth eye's hands. Furrows scroll and reads it. It's not it's just a master of words. The laughter of soldier's mask. She said she had admiration. He gave us garnage. Since wretch for wasting our time. My fingers is a nearby Scarlet Fury who pumped to snatch a long knife from her belt. I heard her say she'd swear to filter the voices of Narat. Initiation right would be in order. Seeing as you are a subject of fate, we will entertain your wisdom on the matter. Well then, what would you propose to do to you? Send her back as an agent. When the time comes, she will aid us. Will track down her kin. I need to think of a good explanation for my escape. 
I'm certain I can return and avoid suspicion. Thank you. You will not regret this act of mercy. See it that we don't, child. This will end amusingly for the running god. For the very would be smart to assume she would only escape by our wounds. You there. With our box pair guardsmen beckoning forward. Release our newest recruit. He has orders to infiltrate the Oathbreaker Siege, which she escorted to the river's edge. Turn to the Vanguard. Act well my part and wait for the restriction from the chorus. That she falls her escort out of the camp. We're close to finding out the position. Now this cryptid mess. She promises answers, and all she gave us was gibberish. Uh, sorry to interrupt, uh, but I highly doubt it's gibberish. Uh, more likely, it's one of the local scripts. Well, well. well. The voice comes from another prisoner tied to the var. Or a gentleman with quills and files and parchment scroll, one sage of the rules of ink and quill. Ink smudges cover his shanks, temples and ears, his clothes appear charred. Between the rips of fabric, you spot bur burning scars along his arms. Despite being immensely and tied to a bus, he offers a beaming smile. Can you read this? Uh, well, uh, let me see. Uh, I, I, I can't. Uh... Uh, oh, mm-hmm, mm uh-huh. You have the parchment from the brown sage, and I dart the length of massive his words a second time, nodding in silence. So, uh, I don't know exactly what it says, but I'm half certain that's Sage Selwyn's handwriting. I'm sure I could decipher that in a few hours' time. Uh, don't need my hands free, but uh, I think better when not tied to a post. <laughs> I know, I'm weird that way. A few hours? Either read it or you cannot. What use is sage that doesn't know his letters? I forgot you here. I have some fun with this one. Kerner, to give him a few hours. To read the edict. I need to tell you the sundial is ringing against us. Yeah, the old bag is just trying to stall us. The voice of Nod will be upset knowing you squandered a source of enemy intelligence. How true. We shan't put him to waste. He will serve as the most riveting source of amusement. We put him on trial. Faithbinder, I beseech you, be my advocate for this trial. I'm no fool. I know the chorus uses blood, not words, to settle these matters. But you are a servant of the Archon of Justice, are you not? Fine. I'll be his champion. We need this one alive. Good. I like it when Tunon's puppies get their paws dirty. Hey, Trust, are you there? Because we have good news and we have bad news from what this woman just said. Yep. Okay, so, uh, so good news. At about 12-ish our time... We're gonna bully Kanan to try and do a stream tomorrow where the three of us play 100% Orange Juice because they have a couple Grinch and Reverse Grinch builds. What say you to that, Tress?
Perfect. Second of all, uh, would Tress ever say to Cal, uh, Callie, what, basically, would Tress ever call Callie a puppy and say they're getting their paws dirty? In any context, very important information. Actually, you know what, the best imp uh, information is yes. Callie lightly slaps them, looking down at them with a dummy mommy stare. Either she's going to uh, violently fight a Jove to the death, or they're going to make out in about 15 seconds. So, uh... Hear that, brothers and sisters? Raising his arms in the sky. The fifth eye roars for all nearby here. Trial by combat is upon us! So he just bound from the post. Sif legs nearby... Nearly buckle as he tips the walks, and his arms flex and flail the new freedom. Big sweat and grind from his brow. The sage steps cl uh, close with you with a nervous smile. With Nick roaring and stomping of the hundreds of feet in US and flood the camp, horsemen begin to circle and swirl about, brandishing weapons and cheering. Begin the chant of gathering. Let the warriors know that tonight's entertainment will be soon commence. Brothers and sisters, who amongst you sets the standard for strength? Who amongst you will window the weak for the from the strong? With thy waves, hands in the air, drawing the gathering of the core soldiers. Our clements have been assembled. Now let, us, now let the trial of the Oathbreaker begin! Come out! <laughs> Shall we? Never had a chance. Easy as pie. By the righteous shedding of blood, we have found our answer. Regardless, it appears the sage is worthy of leaving our camp alive. The fifth hour offers a short, mocking bow to Lady. Rub himself for the voice of Nadak. You are free to go, old man. Dragged your grandkid that you fell afoul of the chorus, yet lived to tell the tale. Are you hurt? Not any lasting capacity. Uh, I'm a jostled, but fine. 
I believe I have parchment to translate, lest I anger the powers that be. Well, much of the parchment has, was withered, but I could make out the most important parts of the text. That's a mission of a meek spot west of Tepreth. So the old sage was worth his words after all. I'd ask you to travel ahead and see if you can't get this captain forward to yield the course. I'm sorry the first side of the chorus gang, but perhaps they'll parlay if they if, if yours is the face they see. Oh yeah, I should go at once. Show the way. I mean gonna be far from listening to this camp. Slow on instructions might be in order. My apologies. You should pass that part. I'm Sage Lund. From the Valentin Citadel now of Well nowhere, I guess. Or if you come with me, why? Because the alternative is well, living alone up here with these literate brutes. My old study is under a roof of fire, and there's no family missing me. Besides, I'd much rather chronicle the bond of that twice proclaimed an edict of chaos. Be fool let someone else write your story. There's a lot of fighting you for an old scholar. I'll draw off and join this expedition. The new stage is every bit as cutthroat as a hardened gang of bosses. I get the power of dodoring your scribes, but don't let that fool you. I'm not for someone your age to be so much trusted. But I'm not with the oath breakers, if that's what you're fishing at. I'm looking for them under duress, but I've no longer for them. I'm not about to pledge to the chorus. It is favored w wouldn't have me. So I consider myself a careless freeing vassal of the Lord's and of the Lord's Empire all the same. As long as I've been a sage, I've been trained to free myself. I spend all our time binding books and sketching wildlife. Just most of it. This is real you've been in a quiet war with the schools of Tyus. And the school's wild wrath. You can't travel alone as much as I do in that old bronze dance. And your little quick dagger, just for decoration. Well, I mean, sages always need a cool, have a cool handy, so just sort of brings in the assemble with a casual glance. This customary term is a blade remix, so who's keeping track? Do you want to chronicle me? Well, of course! When burning libraries ever be built, I work to chronicle these days and events didn't cease. You know where they play on the whole war. I can't think of another living faint run who has twice given the honor of a proclamation. If you're so eager to come with me, splendid. You won't be disappointed. I know I may seem old and frail, but I know how to step lightly and not and how to not get killed. Really, I won't slow you down. Lead the way. And let me know if I can be a service. We done here. Let's hide to Trefla. If your new pit doesn't behave himself a long way, I'm not above cl clipping his ears. What? Oh boy. Oh boy, now what? That's far enough, Fatebinder. Wind's voice booms from atop the nearby outcropping. Flashes of aquamarine body paint peek out from underneath her loose fitting traveler's guard. Your outfit is fastened with braids and knots of a sour's line. Flanked by either side of where he's dressed in the veteran guard regalia, the woman leans in on her elaborate blade staff, pulsing with hurricane energy. Swath of blue fabric rest drapes over her arm. 
In accordance with ancient customs north and south, I offer and request a delay of blade. There are matters we must discuss without fear of reprisal. Moon bows deeply in accordance with. The first, uh. Sorry, tr uh, Jove, any responses from Callie's, uh, outburst? In accordance with the co ancient customs of North and South, I buy this. As street. is our custom, we are ready to kill to defend our lands, but we kill only in fair battle. We don't slay our prisoners. We know this isn't Kairos' way, I'm doing. but we must Ah, because you're scared. Hope. Got it. Jove, it's okay to be scared to, uh, to face Callie, the, 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 ten, the, the fucking seven-foot-tall dummy mommy. It's okay. A few of my kin have gone missing, and though they may have perished, I have to inquire on the off chance they still live. If Captain Tarkas Deimos still lives, we would negotiate for his release. Tarkas Deimos is I dead. See. That is as I feared, but thank you for telling me all the same. I prefer closure to wishful thinking. If I may make one more inquiry, what of Palox Tyrell? Did he survive? No dead Oathbreaker. Whoever you ask about next, I assure you. Nothing can be done. My apologies, Fatebinder. I had a terrible feeling this errand was in vain from the start. I had no expectations that our friends could be saved, as I'm sure the time for swapping prisoners is long gone. But at least I know of what became of them. That'll have to be enough. I'm sorry you did not find what you were then seeking. Then all that remains is for me to thank you for hearing me out. In accordance with our ancient customs north and south, let us part with peaceful... on A thousand pictures of none that mean anything. Fuck's sake. Man, fucking Discord is really made searching a lot more of a bastard, hasn't it?
Perfect. Indeed, perfect. We found it. Especially, uh, the reason I had to find that, Jove, is specifically Kali is referring to the 70% uh, statistic. And they fucked off. They left. They, they walked off. Goodbye, forever. I got it. Cool shit, still gonna keep coming. Swing your way along the wild dirt roads, the winds through the forest of old apex. The mountains loom of ever side. And only the mountain spire jutting skywards from the center of the broken realm provides a constant landmark of which to navigate. Subterfuge. Let's quietly approach. You low and using the thick folds to cover, you move carefully through the underbrush. Mark your a concave bend around the road. Side of the bend slowly res resolves in your view. Then not one patrol of warriors, but two. Bron Apex heraldry and bronze scale marks the first group of the Vendron Guard. The other warriors, however. Where bronze rings set in heavy curved leather. A sigil on their turban style and the likeness of the bane. Recognize him for your time as the governor of Livid's Crossing. Remember the bronze br brotherhood of real mercenaries out of Haven. Spy. Moving with a shroom carry, you could, uh, as you struggle. Such is the way of the overlord, the oathbreaker tells the mercenary. His troops die, but we all die. There's no middle road, no parlay, and no quarter. Expose the lie. Step forward. Hold on. Jove, are you ready for Callie to just constantly teach, uh, tease you while her daughter saves the entire universe?
He's doing that phenomenal. In fact, we have the perfect video for Callie. Just need to find it. one second. There it is. Callie in a nutshell. Hold on one second. Do you now fear, uh, do you now feel, fear Callie's power? <laughs> She's a rabbit. If she gets to, don't you know rabbits get too lonely if they die? Random Callie screaming noises. Jove, you already have to deal with Tress doing pr probably that exact same thing. Are you sure you're able to deal with Callie and Eldritch being? <laughs> the answer is no. You point the guardsman calling out his silver serving light. The mercenaries have loaded game from working with the Vonger Guard. Everything to lose. The Eldritch of execution shall slay all those in the valley. Only if the it does not fall to Kerr's forces. You should know, you tell them. The Eight was issued upon your lips. Even as the Avenger Guard howl at you for your, howl at your head and advance for you with weapon drawn. The mercenaries holster their arms and withdraw into the woods. Chat, we turned it from a 2v1 to a 1v1. Look at that! Get him, boys! Pathetic.
It's like having to play fucking I this company, it. but we have even less to play. Await my signal! It's like Olympus Company, but we barely know what we're doing. So check it. One second, chat. We'll be right back.
been rewarded. You've been rewarded for chicken. Ah, shit. Dude, we got chicken. Our buddy, our buddy got us chicken. He bought us some chicken for dinner. Oh, boy. Fried chicken, even. They make uh, up up a Kroger or whatever. Mm. By God, we're eating like a corrupt politician now. Let's get in there. Okay. So he changes to yes, please. We're playing this like an RTS, and you, you all cannot stop us, no matter how boring that may be. Oh, there is so much happening. Have you ever heard of an immovable object? And, uh... Unstoppable force? You ever, you, you've heard of that saying, right? Everyone's heard of that saying. Well, first of all, there's a reason we took the skills we did.
So, Woden's about to make herself an unstoppable force. You got it. Enough, it seems going slower has somehow made us worse. <sighs> we don't know what you asked you, but somehow it was involved with Callie teasing Jove, and by now she's just cuddling herself. Really, whatever it's what whatever we said didn't really matter that much. We were the distraction, if you will. By God, it was worth it. After all, we got to eat chicken. Did you get to eat chicken? Okay. What if we just turn all this shit off? That and that. No, stop that. It's Woden. Woden. Home strike that nerd. You? A fire Look that at nerd. that. Get your core. Feels like my blood is on fire. <laughs> Interesting outcome. is on fire. Well, just ignore it, you pussy. Woden's got a plan. You just have to not die. old fucking guy up here. Uh. 
Oh, so everyone died. Up when oh, it's cool. over. For the queen! <laughs> we are fucking garbage at this. Done eating spaghetti count. Early. <laughs> ah, no, she may. I guess you'll never know, Jove, because never able to get that far. Ah. What a shame. If only you were the champ. If only. Of course you'll say it's on fire. Smokey the bear has to come put it out. Ah! The legend. Callie, the legend has returned. When the world needed her most, she vanished. A hundred years has passed. new avatar has risen and even though he has a lot to learn I know he'll be great which was fucking Woden but well, Woden is the new avatar that's the fucked up part That's equivalent to saying like, oh yeah, Callie, or like, that's like saying Tress is the new avatar. Okay, now we can go in. Heads up, we You get in there and just start stabbing this guy in particular. You got it. Just gotta sustain a bit, it's fine. That's fine. We are not very good at this, huh? me would be interesting. Would it, Tress? What would it be about?
Better question. You all saw that uh, Azura's Wrath meme yesterday, right? <laughs> Yo, Azura's Wrath. We have that game. And it is so amazingly over the top. And we love it. We can never adequately explain Ezra's Wrath because it's fucking insane. But it was the intrusive thought one. You know what game we're talking about now? Nope. You want to do a quick match of 100% uh, orange juice on stream while we talk about it? Wildly? Because, God, we need to take a second to figure out what the hell we're doing here. Yes, phenomenal. In that case, chat, give us one second. We'll switch over to it in just a moment. One second. 